Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Gina and I make videos about houseplants and houseplant related content. And I make videos every week. And thanks for joining me here today. So today's video, one of my very favorite type of videos to make for you guys is going to be a thrift store shopping video. And I'm looking for cover pots. And specifically, I need small cover pots because now I know I sound like a broken record, but I've been getting a lot of plants lately and I have, I, I'm running out of these little cover pots. Um, I have a bunch of, I used to have a bunch of these small ones like this, which is mostly what I need. And somehow I've used them all up. So, and like this one, this one is in pond. So I need cover pots with no drainage. So that's what specifically what I'm looking for. Like this one is, it's a little bit too big, too big for this. So I need something smaller for this one. And then like this one is also in pond. This one's okay, but basically I just wanted to show you what I'm looking for. And then also I want to find some square shaped cover pots because I've gotten quite a few in like square shaped pots. So like, yeah, some newbies here. This is a Hoya Pachiclata Albo Marginata. And this is the Hoya Dekie. So excited about these, but Okay, so I actually went to the thrift store last week. I go to the thrift store every week. And so I was there last Friday and I filmed for you guys. And I did find some cover pots there, but then I forgot I needed these square shaped ones. So I'm going back to the thrift store today and um, I'm gonna look and I may film again today um, if I see my, you know, if there's, anything really new I'll film for you guys, but I do remember seeing some square shaped pots that would work. And they're actually, I think they were from candles um, that people used up and then they donated the glass vessel from the candle, which is an excellent repurposing, way to repurpose for a cover pot. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully they're still there. Um, so yeah. Uh, I think that's it. We just need to head out. I had a really busy morning. I um, was packaging up. I have three packages of plants going out to you guys. Um, there's one, two, and three. So I'm, I have to go to the post office also. So I'll be taking those to the post office and they're actually, they're going all over the country. They're going north, east, and south. The only way they're not going is west. Um, and by the way, um, so my, my plant shop is thepinktrellis.com and I used to not ship to California, but I do ship to California now. Um, and I have sent a few already. Um, so, um, if you're from California and you saw before that I don't ship to California, I do, I do ship now. So that's the pinktrellis.com and there are some plants available right now. All right. So I'm going to head to the post office and then I'm going to head to probably two thrift stores and I'll see, hopefully my pots will still be there. My square pots and maybe some new things, some new exciting things. And, and then when I get back. I'll share with you guys what I picked up. So, so yeah, let's head out and hopefully we'll have great success. All right, let's go.
and we're back so I did the two thrift stores I did the post office and um, I I did film a little bit at one of the thrift stores today pretty much it was everything the same as Friday except less stuff because over the weekend apparently they sold a ton of stuff um, but there was one thing that was new that was pretty cool and I filmed it for you and I will show that to you in just a second but so let me show you let me show you my haul so there really wasn't anything like super fantastic I was really hoping like today there would be something like super cute and well there kind of was but it was actually something that was there last Friday and I thought about getting it but I didn't get it but it was still there so I got it um, but I'm gonna save that we're not gonna look at that yet first we're gonna look at what I picked up on Friday so I told you I was looking for cover pots just plain no drainage cover pots and this one's a nice it's just like a smooth white really nice it was a dollar it looks like a dollar ninety nine and I'm going to see what this says under here. Curious. I just see made in. I want to see where it's made in. So it looks like, so it's not just like some cheap made in China. It's made in Germany. Because it, it feels nice. It feels like a nice quality piece of pottery. So that's kind of cool made in Germany so there's that and then I got this one because I just I love the color of it and it's kind of like a peachy kind of almost terracotta color and this one was $3.99 it's nice all right and then there's this one which is, I don't know that this is for, like, for a plant. I don't, you know what, no. You know what this is? This is a votive holder, a candle holder. Um, it was, I think it was $1.59. I see part of the price tag in there. But it's got a cute little sun symbol at the bottom and it's just it's a nice dark color pottery with a glazed green interior and no drainage so this will work great for like plants in pond perfect and then I got this one which is just plain white probably another votive holder which works so great for um, for plants so and this one was a dollar fifty nine and I already tested it and I know it is gonna be perfect oops I'm dripping everywhere for my wall any my Hoya wall Indiana variegata and it's like now you can actually see it because the other pot I was in you couldn't it was like so low in the pot you couldn't even see the plant so this is perfect exactly what I wanted so let me I'm gonna pour this water that's this was the pot it was in I'm just gonna pour that water in there and it's all ready to go back on the shelf oh my gosh you guys you know I was all done filming this video and I went to go edit and as I'm watching the footage of my thrift store shopping I saw two things that I totally forgot to show you guys that I picked up so I'm not sure where I'm gonna squeeze this in if it'll be probably somewhere in the middle so it may seem a little weird but you, you know the backstory I just totally forgot to show you guys this so so the first thing is this little tray that I have my Haworthias on and let me take the Haworthias off so you can see what this tray looks like it's so cute it's just so colorful and I think it just 
goes so perfectly with my succulents. So that was $1.99. Really pretty. And then the other thing was this plate, which I put this syngonium on. And it's just a really pretty kind of, I think it's handmade flower. It's a flower and it's a really pretty plate. So I'm just using it as a, just a, like a little saucer underneath my plant to catch water. And this one was $1.99 and it's really pretty. So those are the two other things I picked up and I almost forgot to show you. Okay, so now I'll show you what I picked up today. Okay, so both of these things are, actually you can kind of see one and if, if you're very observant, you'll have kind of, you'll notice that something in the frame is there that wasn't there earlier. And it would be right here, this. So now I, when I was there last Friday, this was there. <clears throat> And I haven't gone back and looked at that footage to see if I did film it. Pretty sure I probably did film it, but I'm not sure. So you might have seen it in the video, possibly. But isn't that cute? It's just like, it's vintage. This is vintage. And it's bamboo. And I love bamboo. I don't like bamboo in my yard because it's so messy. We used to have it. We had tons of bamboo when we lived in California and it's really pretty. I mean, it's gorgeous, but it is so messy. I mean, the little sheaths that come off of the bamboo, they just, they get everywhere and it's really messy, but it's really pretty. And my husband keeps, he keeps saying, we should plant some, some bamboo here, which you can. I mean, there's, colder season or colder weather bamboo that you can plant here but I'm just like it's so messy it's just so messy so so I think we're gonna avoid the bamboo hopefully but but I get bamboo here so this is a nice square shaped pot which will work for like the plants I showed you earlier that I needed square shaped cover pots for this one actually, it does have drainage. It has like this cork at the bottom, this removable cork. So eventually I'm gonna plant, I'll just plant right into this. I'm not gonna use it as a cover pot. For now, I'll use it as a cover pot, but eventually I do wanna plant into this. That's just so cute. And it was $2.49, not a bad price. It's so pretty. So that's one thing I got today. There's one more thing I got today. All right, so the final thing I got was this. And this was exactly, I, when I was filming earlier today, this is what was, this is what I was thinking about. This right here. And I thought it was for a candle, but I don't think so. I think it's just like, it's for a vase or it's, at, it's a vase. It's basically a vase. Um, at the bottom it says Teleflora gift. It was a dollar fifty nine. Yeah. So yeah, it was just it was a vase, and this is gonna be perfect for the the big my big Hoya Pachiclata Albo Marginata that big square pot just sitting in this, and it's just such a cheerful yellow color. I just love it. So yeah, that is what I got today. So now I'm going to show you some video that I took today at the thrift store. And it was, I was really tempted to get this. So this is a terrarium and I used to have one of these, except I had the smaller version. This is like, I think this is the biggest version that they make. And um, it's glass and it has like a wood bottom and on the top it has this wood ball that sits on it to like close it. Um, and I believe it was $14.99, which is a great price. Um, 
but I didn't get it. I didn't get it. The main reason I didn't get it is because, like I said, I had one before and that little ball that sits on the top, it doesn't like totally seal the terrarium. So I always had to put like saran wrap on the top of it and then set the ball on top of that. And I don't know. Plus, I have so many terrariums. Look at all. These are all my terrariums. I have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've got three over here. Plus, I have one down here. And then I have my big one with my fairy garden. And then I have one in the other room. Plus, I have, let me show you. I love this jar. I still need to um, fill it. But I have this big jar right here that I still need to fill. So, and I got this one at the Goodwill. So, I mean, um, it would just be silly for me. I left it for someone else. Someone else can have that treasure. But I think I got mine at Target. And I mean, it's probably, that terrarium was probably $40 plus, I think, for that big one, because I think mine was like, mine was like close to 30. So it might have been even more. So $14.99 is an incredible price for that. So I'm sure next time I go there, um, it's not going to be there. I'm sure it's going to be sold really fast. It's really cool. Um, but like I said, I have so many terrariums that I really don't need another one. I don't. I don't. So, so all right. Well, I guess that's, I guess that's it for this video. Um, have you guys gone thrifting? I know some of you have mentioned you were going thrifting. And I'm curious what any, if you picked up any neat plant-related things at your thrift store. Um, let me know. Let me know in the comments. And I guess that's going to be it for this video. So I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you're having a great week. Bye. Thank you.